hello guys uh, today in this tutorial I will show you how to configure a DHCP server or DHCP services in your Cisco layer 3 switch uh, before uh, let me just quickly show you one diagram which will here uh, uh, let's say if you do not have any external DHCP server or any standalone DHCP server you can configure the DHCP services or enable the DHCP server in your uh, uh, 3600 series switch and uh, any layer 3 switch if you have it and uh, this is just a very typical diagram assuming you have no server you have just the switch and the some clients inside your inside your network and switch somewhere connected to your internet so in this case uh, you want to enable uh, DHCP services in your in your switch so let's begin and see how it how it works so let me just quickly grab uh, my packet here uh, packet tracer Cisco packet tracer okay so as the same diagram I have a switch and I have two PCs over here and in order for the PCs to communicate with each other or to communicate with the switch we need an IP address obviously which these two PCs will request from the DHCP server so now we are here and go to the config terminal and say IP DHCP pole so this is the new pole I we gonna create I'm gonna say it client so the pole is configured and now what we gonna do we gonna define the network what IP scheme you need or you want to be configured in the DHCP so it in order to broadcast so I'm gonna select 192.168.1.0 and the subnet pass 255.255.255.0 right and now uh, we have a we configured the pool we configured the network subnet mask and the net IP scheme uh, now as you know every PC should have the gateway if he wants to go for go out for the internet or if he wants to communicate to different subnet for this we will configure default router 192.168.1.1 which is uh, my switch IP right now and one more thing uh, before you start you should have an IP address over here some interface IP needs to be configured on the switch and uh, and one more command if you want to exclude some IPs or if you want to res reserve some IPs for your upcoming servers or you already have a servers in your network so to do that IP DHCP exclude oh sorry first of all you need to come out from the DHCP and then you say IP DHCP exclude I will define a range saying that 192.168.1.3 till 192.168.1.10 so what I'm saying here is do not broadcast or do not assign any IP starting from 3 to 10 which I can use it manually on my server and last we will configure the DNS server uh, uh, we'll go back to the IP DHCP pool client and here we will define our DNS server 
which is again I'm keeping my own switch if you have any external or dedicated DNS server you can put the IP here right so that's it we configured the DHCP now let's go and check what do we have as you can see we have our range and we have our parameters configured over here what is the gateway what is the DNS and the network is here and sorry this is the excluded IPs which should not be broadcast should not be assigned from the DHCP and yes rest will be same and here you can see I have configured the IP 1.1 for my VLAN 1 as in like interface and yeah that's that's all from the DHCP server now we will we will go to PC and see whether we have received or we have been assigned IP uh, just to make sure this has to be configured DHCP and as you can see we have pulled an IP.1.2 we were supposed to exclude this IP as well but anyways since it was not a part of the exclusion we have been assigned with the IP uh, so here if you come over here if you have a real PC you should know how to check the IP but this is a packet tracer so I'm just showing you how to check whether it is on the static IP or is it on DHCP same way we'll check the other one uh, we'll go to IP configurator here I'll make it as a DHCP and requesting the IP address and see he requested he first discovered request then he been assigned so it's a in a second see the whole process goes on so we'll close it and now I want to see if I am able to what IP you have been assigned is 11 so the other one was 2 so I need to make sure see dot one dot two. as you can see I'm able to communicate with this PC so in the same way I'll go over here I'll make sure I'm able to ping the other one dot one dot eleven yeah that's right and just to make sure one nine two dot one sixty a dot one dot one yeah I can configure or uh, sorry I can ping my switch as well so that's pretty much from this tutorial I hope you liked the video I hope you understood if you still have any concerns if you have still have any doubts I'll do my best in my next tutorial I'll try to explain how DHCP works how the uh, the request or the broadcast goes from the network from the client to the PC and yeah that's it from my side thank you very much uh, for more information uh, for more videos you can go to my website which is www.integration-it.net thank you so much goodbye